Hi, and welcome to On The Field, the show that gives you access to football players, coaches, and leaders. I'm your host, Ryan Hicks, and I will be interviewing some great people that are dedicated to helping young players succeed on the gridiron. Today, I get to interview Garrett McIntyre, linebacker for the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. Welcome to the show, Garrett. Thanks for having me. Let's start by giving all those young athletes out there an idea of who Garrett McIntyre is. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I grew up just up the road, South Lake Tahoe. California, um, you know, played sports growing up, uh, played, you know, mainly football. Actually, I started in soccer, I should say that, <laughs> when I was young. Uh, started playing football in, I think, I want to say seventh grade, um, and I loved it right off the bat. You know, I enjoyed hitting people. <laughs> you can do that in football. Yeah. Um, played some baseball, um, but, you know, really my main focus in high school was football throughout the years. So where'd you play high school at? Um, South Hall High School. Where'd you play college football? Uh, I played my college football at Fresno State. Why Fresno State? Uh, mainly because they're the only people who gave me a chance to play football. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was uh, I, I walked on. I got lucky. Uh, my mom knew somebody who um, knew a coach who knew a, knew a guy. I sent in some film, um, then they allowed me to walk on. So, um, you know, I didn't get recruited by anybody. No scholarship offers. None of that stuff. So. Uh, that's why I chose Fresno State. So how was college football different from how you played it in high school? Um, well, first of all, I was a middle linebacker in high school, and uh, I was assuming that when I went to college I was going to be a middle linebacker also. Um, and when I got there, funny story, uh, I walked to my locker, and there was number 71 on the locker. And, uh, you know, if you know from football, linebackers don't wear 70 numbers. Those are lineman numbers. So I um, went to the coach, and I said, hey, you know, uh, linebackers don't wear number 71 and they said oh yeah you're you're moving the defensive line and uh, I couldn't really say anything about it because I was a walk-on <laughs> football player and you know there's nothing I can do about that so I just went with it and uh, did what I had to do to play defensive line. So after college here comes the NFL draft what was that experience like? Um, it's a it's a tough time it's nerve-wracking uh, a lot of pressure to perform you're hearing things from different people all around. Um, I, I didn't get an invite to the combine, which is pretty important when you're coming out of college to get that invite. There's about 300 guys every year that get an invite to the combine. So all I had to fall back on was my pro day. And uh, even your pro day is, is nerve wracking because you've got about, I think we had, we had a bunch of NFL guys that year. So we probably had 20 to 25 coaches and scouts that were there watching us. Um, so you go through that whole process, then you wait for the draft. Um, you, you hear a lot of, you know, where you're going to get drafted, you know, late, you know, first day, second day. Um, well, what ended up having me, I didn't get drafted at all. I, I got picked up as a free agent. Uh, and I went to the Seattle Seahawks right off the bat. Um, I got hurt early when I got there. I pulled my hamstring. So that was a, a setback. Um, they kept me around for a little bit. Then I uh, got cut. And that was kind of the first time in my life where, you know, I really felt like I failed. And it's hard to deal with as a player because your whole everything you've been doing for the last four years is to try to make it in the NFL. Um, so then I bounced around a few teams, never stuck anywhere, and then uh, that transitioned me into my next football. So after that, then you went to arena football for the San Jose Sabercats. How is arena football different from regular football? Uh, well, first of all, you're playing on essentially a hockey rink. <laughs> it's indoors. Um, the field's I think it's 50 yards long. Um, walls all around you if you've never seen the game. A uh, very fast paced game, um, high scoring, you know, lots of points scored. Um, but it's also, it was a really fun game. I mean, I, it, was a, it was a reality check for me because coming from NFL camps, you know, I kind of thought I was the man. And when I, got to, when I got to arena, I realized that there's a lot of good football players there. I mean, there's good fo football players everywhere, whether they were ex-NFL guys or um, 
guys that maybe didn't quite make it to the NFL, but still good football players. So I, I, I didn't even play for the first six or seven games. <laughs> and then, uh, then I kind of started getting to play. And then at the end of my first year, uh, we went to this thing called the Arena Bowl, which is like their Super Bowl. And we won the Arena Bowl. Wow. It was, yeah, it was awesome. So after that, you traveled north to play for the Canadian football team on the Hamilton Tiger Cats. How is Canadian football different from how we played in the U.S.? Uh, okay, so then again, so now we're going from a really small field to a huge field. Um, it's a, it's 120 yards long, my, and that's without the end zones. The end zones are 20 yards deep, so you're talking 160 yard field. Wow. By 60 yards wide, so it's a huge field. Um, that was a big adjustment, just being on that huge field. And then uh, three downs instead of four downs, which is quite a big difference of what we grew up doing down here. Um, other little things like for my position as a defensive end, uh, we had to line up a yard off the ball, which was really weird for me because I always had my head right up on the ball. Um, what else? Crazy rules. I mean, I go down the list. There's a rule where um, the punter can punt the ball and the guy can catch the ball and actually punt the ball back to the punter. And then that punter can catch the ball and punt it back again. Huh. And it's the, it's, the, it's the reason the way the scoring goes up there, it's a little different. And it, I mean, just things like that. I was like, this is, this is weird, but it's a great game. The, the CFL, it's its own kind of league up there in Canada, and it is a great game. So finally, two years ago, you found out the, that you had the opportunity to go play for the NFL. What was that experience like? Uh, well, it, you know, we, it, we call it getting on the workout circuit again. Um, teams want to try you out so they bring you in and once again you go through that whole combine thing where you're running a 40 uh, you know agility drills see how you can run which you ask any football player it's not what we like to do I mean it, you have to train to do those kind of drills uh, we like playing football hmm. um, so I, I worked out for a couple different teams um, what I liked about the New York Jets right off the bat is they didn't really care about my 40 or you know how you know whatever it was I, I mean it, I, I can run a decent 40 but it's not like I'm blazing <laughs> fast um, but they said we want to see how you how you move in football drills because you know we've seen your film and you know we want to see how you can do in the actual football drills. So right off the bat, I, I respected that and I knew that it was going to be a good fit there. And um, they ended up signing me, and, and here I am three years later. So what was probably the best moment in your football career? Oh, best moment. Um, I would have to say when I won the championship in arena football. Just because that as football players, our goal every season is, is to win a championship, whether it's in Pop Warner, high school, state championship, in college, you know, to win your conference or to win a national championship, which is not easy to do, especially in individual in college. Um, that's that's always your goal. That's why we play the game is to win and to win championships. And so to finally get to win a championship uh, was it was an amazing feeling. We got a big old ring for it, and had a big party afterwards. Mm. It was awesome. So, you've experienced success and failure pursuing this career. W what advice would you give a young kid think about pursuing a sport as a career? Um, first of all, you know, you got to work hard. It, it takes a lot of hard work to, you, you got to think how many kids at, at your age that want to pursue sports as a profession. I mean, you, you know, the percentages are huge at high school, then it, it drops off to college, and that number keeps getting. So the guys that actually get to get paid to play football or baseball or you, you know, you name the sport, um, it's not easy, and it's a small percentage. So uh, one thing that's gonna take the guys to the professional level is hard work, right off the bat. I mean, if you're not working hard, you know, there are some guys that are very naturally gifted, and then there are guys that aren't, like me. I'm not the <laughs> most, most naturally gifted athlete. But uh, my, my work ethic has brought me to where I'm at in my career. And um, also, for young athletes, have fun. You know, this, this, we, we, we get to play a kid's game. I get, to get, I get paid to play a kid's game, which is awesome. Um, but it's a kid's game, and it's fun. And, you know, think about the days when you're around throwing the ball with your friends. You know, that's what it's all about, is having fun with this game. Well, thanks, Garrett, for taking time out of your busy schedule and sharing your experiences with us, man. It means a lot. Thanks for having me. Once again, I want to thank Garrett McIntyre of the New York Jets for coming out here and giving us an idea of what it takes to be able to play a sport as a profession. I can tell you that I am really pumped. The thing that sticks with me the most is that he never gave up on his dream. Remember that. The next time you're struggling with the last set of weights, or maybe it's tough focusing in on practice, find that way to always get better. And then, go compete! <laughs>